today we'll be looking at the Turk V2 RDA. Alright, so I purchased a stainless steel Turk V2 RDA. As you can see, it comes with the RDA and an extra cap. This cap is 24 millimeter, this cap is 25. This is the stainless steel, it's also available in other colors. It comes with an Allen key, extra O rings, and a squonk pin. Alright, let's take a look at it. So it's very well machined. I really like the stainless. Got the black engraved Turk design and it has it on both sides. It does have pretty decent size airflow. This is the bottom. I have serial number stainless steel 2719. It has all these little M Turk symbols. This is a screw for the negative post, screw for the positive. The positive pin does protrude. Once again, 24 millimeter around with this cap on it. It says V2 there. Very well machined, very clean. It comes with this drip tip, which is a shorty goon style drip tip, goon size. Anything that fits on the goon would fit on here. Pretty standard top cap. This top piece does come off for dripping or whatever you would like to do. It is concave. I did try to clean this, obviously. I didn't dry it too well. So, has this O-ring at the top. So you could pop it off for dripping. Put it back on. Let me get something so I could twist this thing. Alright, so to adjust these big air flows you would get it onto your mod so I have something to grip on and you would just turn the entire cap that'll close this side you could close it all the way down whatever happens on this side happens on that side there is no single coil option I'll just start opening up this side and that side. Alright, or you could close it the other way. I can't do it because it's on here, so I just keep turning it up. And that's that. Now, if you open it up, it has two O rings here. This is the notch that makes the airflow open. And it has two posts, clamp style posts. They actually aren't spring-loaded, but they do go up with the screw. So I'm guessing there's a notch somewhere inside of the actual clamp. And that the screw has some kind of ring to where when this goes, when you unscrew the screw, the clamp travels up along with it. The screws are very nice. They go up and down very cleanly. These clamps are very thick compared to other clamp systems like this. So it's kind of like the reverse of a goon, if you kind of think of it that way, where the goon has a screw here and here. The Turk RDA has it right down the middle. They are big screws with big heads to keep that clamp down even. All right, very thick clamps. On the side you have the Turk symbol on the side of that post as well on the side of that post. These clamps are very sturdy and strong. Very deep juice well. Just very well machined. So let me just show you what happens when you put it all the way down. It makes a full connection when there's no coils in there and then when you bring it up it just goes up and that's it and that's how far it opens until the screw comes out you see when you take the screw out this 
this screw and this clamp you don't want to lose because they're one and the same. Alright. Let me just show you the other top cap. So the other top cap is 25 millimeter, but you will not lose flavor. It also comes with the top piece. You would just have to take your drip tip off of here, pop it on there, and then you put the top cap on here, and it just makes it a little bigger. Now, you might be thinking the bigger cap would have less flavor, wouldn't it? No, it doesn't, because actually the inside diameter of both are the same exact thing. This cap is just a little thicker than this cap. When you put them together, you could see that this one's thicker than this one. Same thing, everything else, the air flows are the same size. They both have the Turk symbol on both sides. Very well machined, this one's a little heavier. I've actually been using the 25 quite a bit. That's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the 25 back on there and uh, let's play around with some builds. Let's see how this thing handles all the builds that I use to check these things. Let's go. Alright, so here's a basic round wire build installed in there. I use just the two openings that would be directly in the middle. So I use the opening here and the opening here which is absolutely possible to do. Um, I do want to show you something when you do this though because there's only one screw in here. Now watch, um, let me just show you that the screws are cranked down all the way. I cannot turn them anymore. Alright, they're put down all the way. But look what happens that you have to make sure that you be careful of. This one is loose. The reason why it's loose is because when that screw clamps it down, it kind of angles up. So this, the lead here, is going to be tighter than the lead here. Alright, so you got to be careful of that. So what I'm going to do to fix that issue is I'm going to not share the same hole with these leads. Now this is a problem you're only going to have probably with little coils, with little round wires, because you can't necessarily stack them, can you? They have to go next to each other. Something like an alien, you can stack and you can put them in the same hole. So I'm going to show you how I fix this issue. Alright, here's how I fix that issue. I just make sure that each lead gets their own little space so that when the clamps go down on either side of the screw it's not going to be like this it's going to go down level and stay level so that's how you would install coils like this into this RDA in addition what that is going to do is it's going to make them coils line up with the airflow better since when you open up the airflow it's actually off to the side instead of, instead of centered so the coils are right there on that side and right there on that side since they aren't necessarily centered that's going to help with everything so that's how I would install round wire builds into the Turk V2 and for that matter any RDA that's like this that it's with the one screw clamp system like the Armageddon or the Turk V1 any RDA that has this kind of clamp system all right, let's try some um, aliens. All right, so here's a for instance. Here's some aliens. Now I could have went with the same, the same thing. I could have put them in there and there. All right, on the inside here and the outside there. Could have did that. Um, that's something you might want to do because of the airflow once again. But if you want it to install them like this, since they're aliens, they're a bigger wire they could be stacked on top of each other and that issue with the clamps is not going to happen these coils are not going to move alright and that's 
that's that with the alien. So anything in between an alien and a clap and a regular round wire will fit, like fuse claptons, claptons, anything will fit if these aliens fit and that round wire build fit. Let's try something a little bigger. Let's uh let's see how series coils fit in here. Big old nine wraps. Alright, correction, these are ten wrap, twenty-eight, thirty-eight, three core series aliens. And they fit great in there. A little bit of pinching could get them a little closer, but this is just to give you a for instance. And let's put the cap on. And boom. Fit perfectly, not touching the cap. Those are some big coils. Alright. Let's see something like, I don't know. What about a stovetop? Yep, a stovetop. Not only does it fit a stovetop and fits it damn well, this is a great RDA for stovetops because it's more like a four post than a two post. Great for stovetops. This is a tall stove top coming well over them posts and we're in. Very cool. What about something like a pitchfork, though? Hell yeah, and it's something like a pitchfork. These are like 18-ply staples. That's a go. Alright, what about something tall? Let's check something tall, and then I'll actually show you how to install coils in these. Hell yeah, to something tall. How about dual something tall? I think I gotta get other something tall builds. These are dual 24 gauge fuse claptons that I stacked on top of each other just to check stuff like this. They aren't the prettiest thing. I'm gonna have to make another build to do these videos from now on, but it serves its purpose. So something like an Enigma would also fit right in there easy. But there is actually one more coil before we install something I wanna check. What about an Inception? Hell yes to an Inception. So all around, this is a great RDA for builders, huh? But that's what's great about posts that are like four posts, is Inceptions are perfect for them. You put the, the small one in the middle, the tall one on the outsides, or the long one on the outsides, the short one on the center, and you got yourself an Inception build in the Turk V2. That's awesome. Um, very very cool now let me show you how you actually install all day vaping coils we're going to do some fralians just to have some kind of variety let's do it got my kim dixon stand out now the coils i will be using today to install are actually from eli on fire these are fralians eight times 0.3 ribbon 28 gauge frames 38 gauge fuse they look very nice and i want to vape them all right, so obviously you want to have your top cap off and you want to get your screwdriver out. All right, you want to bring these up. Now on a RDA like this where it's actually a two post, what you want to do is you do want to Take one of your coils. All right, I'm gonna take one of these coils, and I am going to do what I call a dry install. I want to install it on this side. I want that lead that's coming out the top to be the one closer to here. So I'm gonna put one lead in this further one, one lead in that closer one and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it off the post where I would like it and then I'm going to cut my leads where I would like them all right and this one is pretty short anyway 
cut that. Then I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna get the other coil. Install it in the same spot, right there. Pull it off the post to the desired amount and cut the leads again. All right, that's how I want it. Now you can leave this one in, you don't have to take it out. And then I'm gonna spin the RDA around, get the other coil, put that in the spots that are open, like so. Get them to match up nice and neat. And what the beauty about RDAs like this is you only have to do one screw per post. Work on one at a time. Make sure the coils are where you want them. And screw down one post. Now the coil should stay there after that. And let me work on the other post. that guy out a bit. Screw them down. Make sure they're tight. Tight. Let's check it. Right there. Now, where I like to position my coils on this is I like to take the rod, put it all the way through, and push it down until it touches the deck. If it bounces up a bit, that's fine. I want my air to come right underneath of it and up all right so this is a bit high here i want to get my bit in there put it all the way through and push down that's it you may want to center them a little bit you could just do that but you don't have to once again the airflow comes the airflow is going to come over here on this side it's not going to be center it's going to come over here on this side so just remember that so having them installed like this A little off center is the way you want to go really beautiful coils from Eli on fire all right let's uh, pulse them up and see what happens I'm going to be using this is a Kim Dixon stand I'm using here I'm going to grab my vape presso mod Turn it on, one, two, three, turn it down. It's saying 0 0.09 to start. I got 0.29 watts, 0 0.08 it's saying now. All right. And now I'm just gonna pulse them, get the hot spots out. 30 watts. Once I pulse it a couple times and I start to see some red, I'm just going to give them a little wiggle. A little wiggle. Some hot spots there, some there. And now I'm going to Looks like I got the one already firing without hot spots. Let me work on the other. All 
right. Still getting a little hot spot here. Let's check the other one. Looking pretty good now. And some nice pen 80 colors all out of right it. so I have a little bit of presidential cool wick left so I'm going to use it up here I'm just going to get out a good amount that would go into a three millimeter roller up and obviously I want to make sure that my wick is going to touch the bottom of the RDA. So put it in there, make sure it's pretty tight but not too tight. I'm going to just measure it by doing this deal here. Alright, let me get some scissors. Make sure that I don't cut too much off, leave enough. So that it hits the bottom of the juice well. Flip it around. Use the other bit. For this side. Fits. Bring him in there. Make sure it's not touching the bottom of the coil so air can get around that coil. Gonna bring that wick over there. So these coils are pretty big. But um that should be the way I want it. the bottom there all right let's get her juiced up and then we'll go up top and I'll tell you what I think so I got some DIY blueberry cheesecake from my buddy Lino Velez Blue balls is what he's going to call it. Thank you. Let's get this juiced up. Very nice threads on the 510. 
All right. I'm going to juice the rest of it up off camera. I'll see you up top. Tell you what I think. All right, as you can see there, if you overdrip, it is susceptible to uh, leakage. Not bad, though. I'm not going to say that it leaks a whole bunch, but look how good it looks on this mod right here. This stainless steel mod, it looks great. This is the Times Vape. What is this? Dreamer. There you go, the Dreamer. You know how popular that thing is, and I don't even know its name. All right, first and foremost, this RDA goes for about 60 bucks. Um, machined very well. Now, when you're looking at RDAs, when you look at the Turk V2, I hope you don't look at it and say, wow, that looks like a flavor banger. It's a Cloud Chasers Coil Builders RDA. Saying that, it's got awesome flavor for being a Cloud Ch Chasers Coil Builders RDA. Just like the Goon, the Twisted Mess has got great flavor, but you can fit big coils, you can blow some clouds. Um, it's really nice machined. I was not a fan of the Turk V1. I'm not a fan of the Armageddon. And the reasons I wasn't a fan of it is because of the clamp system. The clamp system, I think all the problems that I didn't like with it, aside from the Armageddon's humongous airflow. The things I didn't like about the clamp system, I think were fixed here. The way the clamp goes up when it opens, that's a plus. But mainly that the clamps are thicker and that the screw heads are bigger. It's going to hold them in a lot better and the clamps are not, aren't going to get all wonky because they're very husky. So I like that a lot about it. I've had this Turk RDA since it came out and um, I've been enjoying it. It's been an all day vape for me. $60 is a little high of a price point. I got it a little cheaper through Black Hat White Face. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you, my brother. Um, other than that, I just like the RDA. You want to play the Aliens game? If I'm an alien sent down to Grim Green's house to steal RDAs off of his table, would I grab this? Absolutely. fucking lootly Is it top 10 RDAs of all time? I don't think so. Is it top 20? It might be. It might be, man. I do really, really enjoy it. You can fit the builds in there. It blows clouds, and it's got good flavor. It looks nice. I like it a lot. I really do. And these Eli on Fire coils are vaping great. This Blue Balls from Lino Velez is vaping great. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I cut out the beginning of the videos where I talk before I go down because I didn't really enjoy doing it. It seemed a little awkward. So I just want to jump right into it and then do the end part. So I think it's an absolute pickup if you're if you're good with spending $60 on an RDA. I don't think that's too much because I come from a time where RDAs were about 100 bucks. So 60 bucks to me is cheap. It's just not the cheapest that's out right now. But it's an awesome RDA. It's a thumbs up for me. I like it a lot. You'll see it in my rotation for sure. It looks good. And also that 2425 cap thing, that's a huge plus for me. I got so many mech mods that are 25 millimeter that it's a huge plus. Huge, huge, huge. Yeah, great flavor. I rock it at about halfway open all the time, maybe a little less sometimes. Guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, like, comment. If you need coils, hit me up on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one.